Hi, my name is Ryan McNally, and this is my 33rd coaching log on the Uclan Coaching Experience module. Uh, today, I'm going to look at the ideal coaching session from a coach's or my point of view. So, obviously, having loads of experience over the last couple of years of delivering sessions and knowing when a session goes really well, and obviously, when a session doesn't function as, it, as, you, as you pictured it, um, you can start to get a good picture of what you vision being a successful productive session and what maybe you don't get you well you obviously see the opposite um so kind of what what would be included in my ideal coaching session would be high standards obviously for myself and the other coach if i have one so we're, we're, we're early we're set we're all set up for when the players arrive you know we both know our session objectives and session detail that we're both going to put in you know we're in sync about what that actually looks like um we've gone through our plan we've made changes or we acknowledge that yet yeah, we're doing this or no can we change this and then when the players arrive you know they turn up and you know there's high intensity good listening um, and information on taken on board and that's just the high standards that we set as, a, as preston and also as myself I'd also vision it running very smoothly, so having not to pick up loads of cones, uh, put down loads of cones, you're just picking them up instead. So kind of your, your practices slowly morph into a bigger picture. Um, so when the kid's going for a drink, all you have to do is pick up a couple of cones and then there's a ne next session already waiting to be delivered. So I think that that swiftness of moving through the, the phase phases of your session really helped to, you know, to carry that momentum from part into practice back into the part into the practice i think then it looks a bit smoother and more gradual uh the next kind of ideal coaching point would be that there's the detail within a session objective so like i previously mentioned underlining that you and the co the other coach are in sync about what the detail point the detail points are that we're giving and that they meet the session objective and uh, making sure that they are quality points you know they're realistic to the game you know they're re they've got relevance to the session, and you know they also can be like uh, repeated. So you've got your three hours there of kind of repetition. Is it real? Is is it realistic? And is it relevant as well? And I feel like the last one that's really crucial for me is there's opportunities to reflect and process. Uh, research around this done by Johnson in twenty twenty highlights that reflection is most meaningful when accepted. As a, value, as a valuable leadership uh, process and routinely performed, highlighting that, you know, if you're routinely reflecting, um, it's really meaningful that, you know, once you understand what you're doing, you can gain a grasp of how and why we're doing it. Um, and it, it starts to have that deeper impact and deeper thought. But, for example, a practical example of opportunities to reflect and process maybe a phone call with the other coach or it might be jotting down notes of how I felt that went what did it look like what does it look like from a parent's point of view a player's point of view um, and seeing where there's any holes to fill for the next session or what what we did well um, and kind of looking at that and saying that was a strong point of that tonight we need to maintain that or that was a weak area can we try and fix that in the next session um, and was there something to build onto the next session with so I feel like those opportunities to reflect and process are, are really crucial uh, for my development as a coach as well. Um, but I feel like that's my ideal coaching session and standards that I set. And I feel like they're, they're really good kind of standards to, to hold myself to and they can only lead to progression in the future.